Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Fallout 76. Thank you for joining me again. You can see we're just outside of the Allegheny Asylum that is right here. And outside of Fort Defiance, also known as Fort Defiance, the reason we're here is because we're going to get back into the main quest here. Defiance has fallen. It turns out that the Brotherhood of Steel's Fort Defiance is actually located at Allegheny Asylum, deep inside the Cranberry Bog. Uh, I want you guys to know that, um, <laughs> well, it has been pointed out that I had forgotten or didn't realize that all of that lead ore that I picked up in Lucky Hole Mine, I had to go to a chemistry station to smelt it into, I guess, lead scraps uh, before I could actually use it to make ammo. So I did exactly that. And um, I made quite a bit of ammo, as you can see. I'm up to over 2,000 ammo for my 556, which is pretty freaking awesome. Um, and then I spent a ridiculous amount of time running around trying to get my weight down because it was still super, super high. And I'm just now remembering that I want to go into here and here and remove Ammo Smith because I'm not making Ammo Smith. And we're going to put Through Hiker back on here. And that'll get my weight down to 121, which is pretty freaking awesome. I dumped off a bunch of aid that I didn't need into my stash. I sold a bunch of bulk items. So I really, really kind of did some weight management before I started this episode. But uh, thank you to those of you who uh, reminded me that I needed to do something with all that lead ore I had. And I had a bunch of it, as you can imagine. So now I have a whole bunch of ammo, and I'm really, really happy. And um, we are going to go inside of this building. It sounds like there's some kind of battle going on over here, but I'm just going to run past it and ignore it uh, because we've already done this event called Line in the Sand and we don't need to do it again. So I'm just going to run past these jerks and there are a bunch of jerks. Oh, some power armor sitting on the ground with pre-war money in it. But we're just going to go on into Fort Defiance and don't be too surprised if some Scorch follows us in here, but um, hopefully we'll be ready for that if it happens. Not sure what to expect in this place. Judging by the outside, I'm going to guess that there's going to be a lot of resistance on the inside as well. So let me get out a weapon post haste just in case somebody decides to follow me in the door there. It's happened before. Okay, surprisingly quiet, but I do hear some footsteps. Yes, I do. Um, it has been suggested that... I get a, um, uh, one of these perks that makes me quieter. Uh, but the problem is, is that I don't remember which of the specials it's under or what it's called. But I think that might be a good thing for me. It'd be pretty awesome if I could walk around without being noticed and get closer to things before I'm noticed. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't, um, don't remember the name of it, and I don't know what, um, special it's underneath of. I don't remember. So, yeah. Light-footed? While sneaking, you never trigger mines or floor-based traps. Well, that's not really what I had in mind. And it's probably not going to be luck, is it? Oh, you know, crud. Oh, well, I don't remember what it was. Let's look around in here. Let's explore this place. Oh, first of all, you see a bell, you ring the bell. Those are the rules. So it looks like another player's been in here. Um, there is a player outside, and it looks like there might even be a player inside of here right now. Mr. Merriweather here, level 72, level 55, Saranox, something like that over there. We are currently, what level are we? We're currently level, level 38. Man, I am leveling up really slowly, it feels like. Well, I went through all that trouble to uh, take care of inventory. Ooh, Camp Venture storage room key. Boy, I did not see that. Normally they got those glow in the dark Nuka quantum keychains on them, but that one did not have it. Anyway, I went through all that trouble just a moment ago. Uh, getting rid of um, inventory, and now I'm filling it right back up. One thing I do need is um, acid. I need acid so I can do some more smelting. 
So I'm hoping that I have acid marked as something to uh, track. Here's De Silva's recon report. Let's listen to it. Recon notes to self. I knew it. I remember coming here on a school field trip. Walls are as strong as I remember. Paladin's gonna love it. Power lines run underground and connect up to Thunder Mountain. And so much space to grow into. But boy, is the whole thing a fixer-upper. And the smell. And there's the small problem of the ghouls. But we've got power armor and miniguns for that. Do I want to live in a madhouse? Well, it's better than being crammed in like Sardine's Adventure. To Silva out. Oh, okay. She's done talking. Okay, well, there's a story here. I like stories. Mm, automatic combat shotgun. Let's check out De Silva's terminal here. Brotherhood of Steel only De Silva's personal terminal. Grant, Grant, Grant says. So Grant shows up and starts running all over, checking every room, the generator, the elevator, everything. It would be impressive if it weren't so exhausting. Then Grant starts asking a million questions. How many breaches in the walls? How many doors? Unsecured windows? Then he says we're abandoning this whole wing and the first floor. Has he trekked up to the second floor? But he says he can get the elevator running again, and even install some military security stuff Squire Weber found on a salvage run. So in one day, everything we were planning for Fort Defiance is tossed out. Oh, except the name. That's the one thing Grant liked. What? I was trading war stories with the guys on the roof last night. Then we saw the craziest thing. It was like some, kind of, some sort of bat flying in from Watoga, I guess. We thought there was nothing living over there, unless you count those murder bots. But the, whole, but the thing flew straight towards us, so we opened up with the miniguns, and I think we literally scared the crap out of it. That was we real, right? The cranberry bog's gotten so very, very strange. First week down. The first floor is clear of ghouls. It's a disaster area, but with a little elbow grease, we can have our own room. We can each have our own room. Uh, it's a little scary at night. What's going on up here? Go away. It's a little scary at night. The others weren't raised with stories about this place. My guess is in a week or two, we'll be ready for Scribe Grant and the others to come on over. The boys and I have started calling this place Fort Defiance. It has a nice ring to it. Okay, I'm going to go in here to these... And I'm going to turn off this. We did that in a previous episode. We don't need to do it again. So that was a lot of story right there in that first room. It's pretty cool. I dig it. Nice big room here. Bobby pins. Hmm, a two ball. Here is a hospital report staff incident. Here's a folder. So this would have been from when this was still an asylum, I guess. Hospital incident report. Resident psychiatrist, Dr. Kessel. One of the junior nurses has suffered a nervous breakdown. His assignments included patient 5A3, whose afflictions manifest in habitual self-harm. Patient 5A4, who, uh, well, not violent, does aggressively grab and paw at whoever is trying to administer care. And also patient 5B7, who breaks down into loud, unconsolable fits of crying with no apparent cause or trigger. <sighs> that and the constant attention and sanitary cleanup required throughout the day for all of his charges was too much for the young nurse. We found him standing outside the door to one of the patient's rooms carrying a tray of food, but not moving anywhere. One of the other nurses noticed he'd been standing in place for over an hour. When he finally responded to our attempts to get his attention, he seemed surprised that any time had passed. During our exit interview, broke into tears. He wanted to know if something was wrong with him, if he would end up here as a patient. I explained that nervous exhaustion was a common ailment, especially for hospital workers. Maybe after some months of rest, he could reapply for his job. 
That didn't seem to console him. Tough times. We've got a wing down there. Oh, somebody's walking around down there. Well, there's another ghoul. The ghouls are back. The ghouls are back in town. The yeah, Brotherhood did clear him out, but they've just returned. Is, uh... Oh, there's a turrets up there? That'll work. Might have drawn the attention of something else, though. So here, we've got a button. Goes off in that direction. I'm not going to press it until I know what it does. So we've come here to find the, the, the Brotherhood's fate. And here is a note here called Final Stand. Let's read it. Uh, 8-18-95. Generators out of fuel. With all the Scorch Beasts, not sure how long the boys at Thunder Mountain can hold out. If the triple A's go down, we're all dead. For anyone that reads this, know I tried my best. We all did. The Brotherhood of Steel held the line as long as we possibly could. But the Scorch Beasts keep on coming. I'm running out of time, so please listen. If the Scorch Beasts are still a threat, you need to get to the top floor. The security doors are top of the line military security. Find a way past them. Do what we failed to do. Stop the Scorch Beasts. Power's flickering. Have to go. In the end, I get it. Ad Victorium. Scribe Grant. Alright. Well, there you go. That's the quest. <laughs> we completed the quest. Defiance has fallen. Okay. But it looks like it opened up two new quests for us. We got a Scribe outfit, a Gatling gun, some rounds, a plan, and a super stim pack. Quest started Forbidden Knowledge. The Brotherhood of Steel secured advanced technology. I can continue their work. That's cool. And what about Recruitment Blues? There we go. Recruitment Blues. Fording Fort Defiance security won't be easy, but the secrets of the Brotherhood await. Cool. If we look at those here in our... Uh, so... Forbidden Knowledge is considered a side quest. I've found a technical schematic for a potentially dangerous technology. The Brotherhood of Steel attempted to keep tech like this out of the hands of those that could abuse it. I should see if there's some place I can store this safely at Camp Venture. Well, we're not at Camp Venture right now, so we're going to turn this one off. And then our main quest is Recruitment Blues. I found a note from a dead Brotherhood of Steel scribe saying I have to make it to the top floor of Fort Defiance. But there's some sort of security in the way. That takes place in this building, so we will leave that quest turned on as we explore this building. TV Dune trays, give me some aluminum. Uh, recipe for fried deer skin, we already know that one. Ooh, there's some security for you right there. So it looks like there's a bit of a mess hall here. Some apples. Apparently I want that wooden block for something. I'm not sure what. Whoa. <sighs> well, the server's not responding. Oh, 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 it's back though. We're okay. It's okay. Everything's okay. Oh, nope. Server not responding. Oh, controls have been temporarily disabled. Come on, server. Come back. Come back to me, server. I don't think the server's going to come back. <sighs> well, <laughs> uh, this does not surprise me with the way this day has gone. Um, well, oh man, this sucks because how long does it wait? And when I restart the game on a different server. We're going to be outside and have to come in again. Not that it was that hard to get in here. Alright, server not responding. 
let us, um, I don't know, quit to the main menu. Disconnected from server. Play. Adventure. And let's see if we can get in somewhere to a different server. You get to look at these uh, pretty loading screens, which I never show. But, um... There's some really nice looking graphics in these loading screens, I think. This was one of my crappy pictures. That is a horrible looking picture, but it is a memorable occasion. Remember when we ran into Rolling Stoner? There he is. You could just see him in there going up the steps. That was a fun episode. I hope you saw that episode when he was building his camp up here in this very scenic location. And this is how long it takes for this game to load. That was actually pretty quick compared to usual. Okay, so we are going to uh, dart back into this place. Just run past all these jerks. Whee! Yeah, I don't care about this quest. We've already done this quest. We're going in. Into Fort Defiance. I don't think... Well, we, we had that one ghoul that we shot. That was it. That was the only enemy that we'd come across so far in here. Of course, um, we did see an indication that somebody else had already been in here. So we may not be that lucky this time. Could be uh, lots of enemies. Nope, there is still a pool of goo here on the ground. And uh, that's funny, this office fan is still here. <sighs> or not. That is an indication that the server is not responding. Recon notes to self. I knew it. I remember coming here on a school field trip. Walls as strong as I remember. Paladin's gonna. <sighs> so I'm just picking these up just to have them. Resident psychiatrist, Dr. Kessel. One of the junior nurses has suffered a nervous breakdown. Assignments include a patient 583 whose afflictions manifest in habitual self harm. Patient 584 who. Oh, I didn't even see that. Does aggressively grab and Let's listen to this. To oh, well, darn it, I took it instead of playing it. <laughs> it's called Scribe Grant's Plea. With no apparent cause or trigger. <sighs> that and the constant attention. <sighs> oh, is it going to play or not? don't care if you're Chinese, American, or whatever. You're a human being. Listen, I don't have much time, but the scores are more of a threat than you can ever imagine. You have to find a way past the security I installed. If you're former military, all you need is your government-issued military ID card. Hmm. If not, find a way. I know, some ghost. Probably isn't very persuasive, but look past your own skin and consider there's so much at stake. We did, and that's why I'm going out to die. Ad Victorium, Scribe Grant signing out. Hmm. Okay. Hey, what's up? Great shot. Got radworms from that jerk. Hold on, let me go in here and turn these other ones off. I'm going to turn off Forbidden Knowledge. I'm going to turn off Line in the Sand. So he said in order to get past the, um, the security, I need a government-issued ID. It kind of bothers me that it didn't give me a new quest. It just says... Uh, hold on. It just says, um, take the elevator to the top floor. Now what? <laughs> Stop making noises. It's like as soon as I start looking at my pit boy. Uh, let's see. Nope, this doesn't tell me. So this is telling me I need a government issued ID to get past it. Only registered 
Brotherhood of Steel personnel allowed past this point. Really? Okay. So, um, I'm gonna have to say that it doesn't really make any sense for me to come in here and explore this place. Um, because... Asylum Worker Hat Forest? Okay, like you say. Getting these items out of here. So, yeah, I was gonna say... Um, I might as well leave this place and go to, um, I guess to Charleston to get this, uh, ID, um, so that I could get up here. I mean, this, this is what, that's what Grant said. I guess that message isn't going to play again, is it? These are indeed turrets. Got some good stuff in them. Yeah, I need an ID. So... That means I'm gonna have to come back here anyway. Look at this. I guess these two guys fought each other while I was in that other room. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, um, let's do it, I guess. Let's go to Charleston. And I uh, hope my recording software doesn't crash when I try to travel to Charleston. To the Capitol building. It's kind of, this, this, this really bothers me. We listen to his note. I'm gonna listen to it again. I'm dead. The Brotherhood is dead. But I'm relieved. Relieved there is someone, anyone, alive. I honestly don't care if you're Chinese, American, or whatever. You're a human being. Listen, I don't have much time. But the <laughs> Could have fooled me. more of a threat than you can ever imagine. You have to find a way past the security I installed. If you're former military, all you need is your government-issued military ID card. If not, find a way. I know, some ghost probably isn't very persuasive. But look past your own skin and consider there's so much at stake. We did. Oh. And that's why I'm going out to die. Ad Victorium. Grant signing out. So I see now in the upper right hand corner it says register for elevator security. I don't know when it changed to that. The elevator leading to the top floor has top notch military security. Maybe I could find a clue that will tell me how to beat it. I feel like I did find a clue, but it's pointing me up here. So let's let's just follow this clue, I guess. We'll see if we can't go up stairs and see where this is pointing me. Somewhere on the second floor, I guess. That's cool. <laughs> so yeah, we'll do that. What I was going to say, what bothered me was that... Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure that I'm supposed to go to Charleston, but... I was kind of hoping the game would tell me to go to Charleston, you know? So that it would be something I'd check off of a list. I'm sorry, did I wake you? They're fairly high level ghouls. They're not pushovers. I should be okay though, because I have a ton of ammo. But man, the sound effects are creeping me out. It's, it's, listen to that. I think somebody's right next to me, breathing right next to me. You hear that? So I don't know if that's like just a screw up in the game or whether there's something on another floor or whether this is just one of the strange side effects of this asylum. But uh, bravo, it's creeping me out. I'll tell you that right now, man. Creeping me out. <laughs> a hose.
Oh great, flickering lights. Okay. Whew. Suffering from radworms. I hate when that happens. Still bizarre sound effects. Ooh, what's this? A sack with a table knife in it. Two table knives, actually, if you want to be exact. Trying to keep an eye out for other recordings and notes and such. It's starting to look like there's not going to be stairs going up to the second floor, but maybe there will be. Maybe... Oh my. Oh, darn it. Hello, everybody. I'm over here. Well, that was terrible. Ouch. Move. Die. Sheesh. Okay, I'm going to guess that, that whatever I'm hearing is upstairs. And it sounded like something that I really don't want to get to know better. Man, that guy had a ton of stuff on him. Yeah, something. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that, man. Man, lots of surgical trays. Oh, that guy's alive. Well, did quite get him. Switch your weapons, please. Vanguard's wood left leg. Man, I really don't even want to pick that up. Grants up to plus 35. Energy and damage resistance. Fantastic. I will never use that. A little bright with my light on. Oh, hey. Yeah, that's a lot of... A lot of shots to take him down. Blood here. Psycho. Military ammo bag. Give me some stuff out of there. Another room over here. A dresser, some rat away. Yeah. That doesn't look good. This place is big. Floors collapsed. Somebody built themselves a bridge up there. Pretty cool. Somebody suffocated this guy. Looks like a cuckoo clock there. It's pretty weird. Oh, okay. Let's go into here. Okay, well... These two, um, apparently just killed over dead right here on the floor. It's weird how that flower is moving. Do you see that? Don't know if you noticed that or not. Getting a lot of aluminum out of here, if nothing else. There's the stairs going up. Lock, unlock this door. Dark. A pencil and a sack. I was trying to hide. This says uh, red rum. <laughs> Not the first time we've seen that in this game. Blocks spelling out red rum. 
pretty sure we saw that elsewhere anyway. Hey, if you need, ever need aluminum, just come in here. Get all those surgical trays. Well, I guess it's time for us to go upstairs, see what's running around up here. Got this chameleon chest pi chess piece on, not chest. No, chest, not chess. <laughs> I'm not playing a game of chess. A chest piece. Whatever I'm looking for is apparently up another flight of stairs. And it might as well be because we can't go in that direction. Oh darn, I failed the event. Don't give me a thumbs down, jerk. I passed the event before. Gosh, he's actually like booing at me. Bite me, pal. Oh, this is cute. We got a little garden gnome here. Flickering lights. The standard for all horror s scenes. Notice I don't have very many bobby pins. It's because I dumped a bunch of them off in my stash thinking they weighed something. But apparently they've fixed that. They used to have weight, but they don't really anymore. I do not need that pipe rifle. Okay. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> look at that, man. Trippy, man. So, there's a body in there. He's riding a tricycle. Look at that. It's pretty neat. But what's interesting is that when you stand up, we lose that wall texture or something. And we see something we're not supposed to see. We've seen the game do this before. Actually, surprised it's not crashing on me. All right, up the stairs we go. Right? Did I look in here? I did not. Yikes, this place is freaking huge, man. This place is huge. Wow. Yep, let's keep looking around, why not? Whew. Buddy, that goes quite a ways back there, though. Gonna run out of time. Oh, somebody's awake. Asylum worker hat red. Radio here. Man. Just dumped off a bunch of aid in my stash. Picking up more and more. Fastnack man mask. I'll pick that up. And a straight jacket. Interesting. I think we ran into somebody earlier in the game wearing that mask and it freaked me the crap out. You guys remember that? Was he wearing that mask? I'm still wearing these um, creepy ass... Um, what are they called? Ritual bindings and ritual mask. I'm still wearing these things. So, you know, maybe maybe I'll creep somebody out if they run into me. Be kind of fun. Not that I'd ever know. Here's a note. Clara Duran's Notes 378. 
our group was attacked by desperate folks who weren't interested in trading with or joining our collective. Collective, huh? Such senseless violence. They killed Bertha, even though I showed them that she was a milk cow. And all the egg-laying chickens, too. Half the remaining group left for Monanga, saying that they couldn't continue to carry the survivors from Watoga. They warned us not to follow. Those of us who are left are abandoning Allegheny tomorrow. The people who attacked us will just be back for more eventually. I think they're from that little town north of Watoga where I bought preserves and antiques. So we're going to try to find survivors up north near Harper's Ferry. It's a long walk, but hopefully we can find other good people or just avoid the bad ones. Clara Duran, huh? I wonder if I'm supposed to recognize that name. Was that one of the women that was at White Springs? I don't remember. Man, it's like everybody's awake now. I don't like the way they've done sound in this game. I shouldn't be able to hear that, especially with such clarity, you know? It sounds like they're right in my head, right in my ear. It shouldn't sound like that. They're on a completely different floor, I think. At the very least, they're in a different room. And it just shouldn't sound like that. Minor nitpick. Bag of fertilizer. Okay, using a bag of fertilizer as a pillow. Pretty sad state of affairs. Okay. Looks like we could get up to the next floor here. Could even go down to the other floor there if we wanted to. Kind of curious though. Why didn't I see that when I was down there before? Huh. Toy rocket ship. And, um... Not sure what to make of that. XXX. Huh. Is that XXXV? Or does it go this way? Is that a person standing on top of XXX? I'm not sure what I'm looking at there. Oh gosh, that looks scary as crap, man. Whew. Yikes, that is scary looking. That hole there. Okay, I'm gonna guess that these ghouls I'm hearing are actually coming from down here. Oh gosh! Oh, 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 oh. I've mutated and gained an adrenal reaction. Whoa, what? Uh, I didn't notice that my health was that low. Well, poo on everything. Really? Wow. Was my health that low? I mean, I guess. I, I didn't even notice. I... I did not... Well, I've already said it. I didn't notice. <laughs> Normally you like start hearing your heartbeat when your health is that low. I didn't hear any of that. So, for the third time in this episode, we will be running back into Fort Defiance. That's weird, man. I did not know. My, well, look at all the rads I've got. That probably has something to do with it, right? That's crazy, man. Golly. I guess maybe he hit me so hard or that they hit me and got my rad level so built up that there was just no space left for health and I just didn't notice it at all. Oh gosh, there's doors opening and crap? That was creepy. <laughs> all right, let's take care of this health situation here. Gonna take ourselves um, some rad away. You can see I don't have much of that left either because I dropped a bunch of it off in my stash. We need some food. The steak. Get our health up. I've oh I've recovered from the adrenal reaction mutation. Dog on it, I wanted to see what that was. I'm gonna run.
run back here. I mean, I, I went this way before, right? I did. So where was that ramp that I saw? And why didn't I see it when I was down here before? I guess it's over there, huh? It's a whole other wing that I can't get to from here. It's all blocked off. Interesting. Boy, this is an interesting place. Whoa, man, he is moving. Sounds like they're behind me. Oh gosh. Holy hell, man. Freaking mother load. Oh my god, die! Oh, I'm backed into a wall or something. That's a good thing I've got 2,000 ammo for this. Holy hell, go away! Whoa, 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 is he getting his health back? Did you see that? Those legendary dudes getting their health back. Whoop! And then he disappears. <laughs> Stupid buggy ass game. And why am I seizing surgical trays down here? I collected all those things. <laughs> there was a dude here, he had some stuff on him and he disappeared. Killed some dudes over here that I didn't loot. Man, there's a ton of ghouls in this place. Sheesh. I'm gonna take this scope off of this thing. I don't need it on here. I've got my sniper rifle. You know, it just gets in the way. I feel like. Whoa. What the? What? Wait, what? Oh, I guess I didn't go up there. Oh, I didn't, did I? I just kept on exploring this level. I can't get up that way anyway, but what was with this couch cushion being flung down here? <laughs> Freaky weird stuff going on, man. Well, I'll keep going in this direction. This is where I was. And I had actually gone down a level. I need to find my, um... My, uh... Where's my... Where's my little baggy? My death baggy, where is it, man? And what's with the... Um... These markers on my map. You know what I'm talking- look at my compass, there's like these, um... Hexagons. So I died... Around the corner here, I think. This is it, this is my baggy of stuff. Let me get all this back. That was weird. Okay, so we're back down on the first floor again. Guess this is the room that I saw from up there that looked so creepy. Man, this place. So I'm going down instead of up. Alright, let's see what's in this door. Getting a little thirsty. Let's drink a beverage. Let's help ourselves to... Blackberry juice? I don't know. Drink some blackberry juice. Whoa, nothing is real, it says. I'm starting to believe you. The lighting is messed up in here. Nothing is real. Okay, you thought this place was weird before. I think we're just getting started with the weirds. That's what I think's happening. A toaster. I don't know about you guys, but I keep a toaster in my locker at all times.
All right, that's creepy. That's a creepy. Oh, hospital report, violent incident. Hospital incident report. Resident psychiatrist, Dr. Kessel. We had a fight break out today. All the patients in the dining room area for the morning meal and all the attending staff were present. Uh, patient 3E2 has never had any problems with violence, but can be verbally abusive to whoever happens to be in the area. The staff intervened, but patient 3E2 broke free from restraint by biting into one of the nurse's hands. Uh, another nurse and I chased her down the hallway while the rest of the staff tried to contain the patients in the dining room who were obviously agitated by what just happened. We were finally able to hold her and administer a sedative and Unfortunate nurse whose hand had been torn open received treatment. All the other patients have returned to their routines, but patient 3E2 and 7C1 will need to be monitored in case this is the start of habitual violent behavior. And the prognosis for either of them being released has <clears throat> slipped even further into statistical irrelevancy. What the hell? Well, that's a fine how do you do. <laughs> oh, this is the ghoul that I killed up there. It fell through the, uh, the world onto this floor. That's funny. Some apples on the ground here. So it always makes me wonder what story was somebody trying to tell when they put those apples there on the floor. And by somebody, I mean like what the developer or designer, or whoever was in charge. Uh, so I hope you know where we are. Um, this is that boarded up door that we came to on the first floor. Uh, we kind of peeked through this here and we were able to look in here. So this is the end of uh, the first floor. We've explored this entire wing and it does not appear as though there's a way to get to the third floor uh, on this side of the building. So, um, what that means is that probably have to go up. Oh, I take it back. This is how you get to the third floor. This will take us to the floor, third floor right here. And this is indeed the floor we want to be on to find this... Um, clue on how to register for elevator security so let's go ahead and keep looking around up here and uh, see if we could figure out what it is we're supposed to find up here uh, somebody's been here so many enamel buckets I bet they all smell like urine whatever I'm looking for is that direction I do not know what that hexagon is on my compass don't think I have anything else marked. So yeah, I don't know what that is. I think that's a glitch. I'm very quick to call things glitches in this game, but can you blame me? Okay, we've got flamingos here and they're looking at a picture of a duck and there is a mannequin laying on the floor in front of them and a wooden block with the letters V and F on it. Nothing weird about that. That one even has some fashionable glasses. Vault Tech alarm clock. That's kind of cool. And a plastic bowl. Hey. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. And I'll take that. Okay. Did I look over here? Let's keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. We need to find this thing. Yeah, more... Um, more meat piles. So who... Who was it who came up here and fought these dudes? Left these meat piles? That's what I'd like to know. We have a little plant here. Purified water. 
Maybe for the plant. Somebody made themselves a fort, it looks like. Uh, this person has a garbage can in their room. Desk. Clara Duran's notes from 1277. We caught the cow. We had a vote to pick a name for her, which was a good social exercise. I didn't expect it to become quite so heated, though. I guess some folks get worked up over anything. Anyway, her name is Bertha. Some aggressive dogs had Bertha stuck in an empty fountain, poor thing. We had to kill them just to get to her. I guess we all get to see what dog tastes like now. I am not excited, but it can't be worse than canned dog food. And then there's a priority list there. Interesting. Lots of stories here in this asylum, right? Get the story of Clara Duran and whatever group she was with. Get the story of the asylum itself, when it was still an asylum. And then we've got the story of the Brotherhood. Bonus stories. Clara Duran notes from 1177. It's hard to believe that I was going to be taking my students here on a field trip before everything went nuts. I'm so very thankful that I read up on this place and was able to make it here along with other refugees. Watoga is lost. We can't go back while the robots are running amok. The little bog towns and farms in the countryside wouldn't be able to sustain us the way this place can. Allegheny Asylum has everything that we need in order to really make a go of it, but there is so much work ahead of us. Priority list. Find a working terminal or repair a broken one. Water treatment facility is having problems and may need to get another thorough cleaning. Keep the coal coming. It's going to be, a, it's going to be winter really soon. Get each survivor a room with a bed, coal burner, and adequate shelter. Organize volunteers to teach some of my fellow Watogans how to cook and etc. Find where the darn roaches are coming from and seal it off. Organize scouting groups for different kinds of supplies, especially seeds. Get the kids sc sorting scrap. Try to catch that weird looking cow if it comes back. This place has a dairy, so let's use it. Other things that we really need to work on is just getting along with each other. Okay, kind of cool. Learning more about Clara and her band. Hole. Don't fall down in there. Oh, I gotta go in that direction. That's all walled off. Some buff out, why not? A broom, sure. I'll just stick that in my backpack. Okay, I don't want to know what was going on in there. Here's that bridge. Before we go across the bridge, let's go in here. Hey, look, it's one of those monkeys. That's what I think about you, monkey. <laughs> Sorry, I might have some residual feelings from Sekiro <laughs> about monkeys. <laughs> We're getting a little closer. Found what appears to be a lab. Empty blood pack. I guess it's made out of plastic. Yep, here's a safe that's already open, so that's kind of nice. I saw the word read. Did I see the word read? I guess I didn't. I don't know what I saw. Another bridge here. Somebody's walking around. Getting closer. It's a surgical tray down there. I'm not sure how I missed. Okay, there's some more weirdness. And there's a bunch of dudes downstairs, and they're all coming up here. And I'm not too happy about it. No, sir, I'm not. 
Here they come. Oh gosh, I'm gonna die again, damn it. What are you gonna do about it now? Oh, they're gonna come across here. I guess they're not as dumb as I thought. I need some good ammo. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, mother, 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 mother. Oh, crap. I don't like this. I'll get some kind of effect on me now. Oh, jeez. Gosh. Oh, jeez. Almost dead. Just gotta drop down. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Let's see if I can't take a rat away real quick. Alright. See if I can take some food. What do I got? Spoiled vegetables, get out of here. Sugar bombs. Scroll on a stick. Need a little bit of health. Um, oh man, I am really far away. Well, I was kind of hoping that I could get to, um, the item that I needed to get to real quick. Uh, but it's going to take me some work to get back up there. And I've really already gone over, uh my normal play time so i'm gonna have to end this episode here we come back next time we'll come back in here and we'll try to work our way back up to the third floor and uh see if we can't get what we came here to get so sorry to end it here but um getting a little too crazy for me and i got i got to get to sleep it's late sunday night and i gotta go to work in the morning so i'm sure you guys understand uh thanks so much for joining me again i hope you had fun if you did well, let me know let me like or comment let me know if i missed anything too uh that i've already walked past and um Please come back for the next episode. See you then.